let's talk about domain names. So a domain name is basically internet real estate. It's like a location on the internet. So tckpublishing.com is one of our website domain names. You might get the domain name for your name.com or something like that. Every website has to have a domain name. So that's where people will go to actually find your website. And so a mistake a lot of people make is that you go to something like wordpress.com or blogger.com or tumblr.com. And so you get a domain name that's like, you know, johnstrauss.tumblr.com or johnstrauss.wordpress.com. And the problem with a domain name like that is that you don't own that domain name. The, uh, the company like wordpress.com owns that domain name. And so they are in control of kind of what you can do with that website. You have to constantly pay them to maintain that website. And it's not nearly as professional uh, if you're trying to run a business or be a successful author or something like that. So you want to own your own, do your, your own domain name. So the place to go is just namecheap.com. They, they have the best deals and best pricing on domain names and amazing customer support. And they're just really good at what they do. And so once you come to namecheap.com, you just go ahead and type in you know, some ideas or words around what your domain name might be. So let's say I wanted to just do... Um, like writingbliss.com because I'm a writer and um, you know I teach people how to write and be happy through their writing, something like that. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see what, are the, what the names are that are available. And so in this case, it says writingbliss.com has already been registered. In some cases you can pay like a lot of money to buy websites that have already been owned by other people. But I recommend you never do that. Domain names are not that important in terms of you know, if you pay $10,000 for this domain name, is it going to be more valuable than one that you pay $10 for? No, it's not. So what I recommend is that you find a domain name that's not already taken and you buy that one. It should be $10 or so, maybe even less. Um, so don't pay $1,000 for a domain name. It's just absolutely not necessary. You should never do that unless you've been in this business for a long time and you're really familiar with domain names. So in that case, if you're, if let's say writingbliss.com is your first um, idea and doesn't work out, then just come up with more ideas and it might take you some time to figure out, um, you know, the right domain name for you. Um, but go ahead and take your time. And then I recommend buying a .com domain name. So there are different kinds of endings you can have on, dot, on, on domain names. So there's .com, .net, .org, etc. Uh, I re always recommend .com if you can. If you cannot get a .com, then go ahead and just get a .net because that's okay as well. But generally speaking, .com is just going to be easier to remember for people because it's the most common domain name extension that people have. And so they're just more familiar with it. Um, so always think about when you're buying a domain name is if I tell someone this domain name in a conversation, are they going to be able to easily remember it and go home and type it in and tell their friends about it? Because if not, then it's going to be a problem. You don't want a domain name that's hard to remember because then it's not going to be as useful, right? So try to find a domain name that's a little bit easier to remember. Um, generally speaking, I don't recommend using numbers in domain names. So you wouldn't want to do like writingbliss2.com. That's not a great idea. Um, so try to just find some unique words that you can use to, to have a unique domain name with hopefully a .com extension. But there's a lot of talk about, you know, keywords in domain names. So for example, let's say you're blogging about food. So should you have food in your domain name if you're blogging about food? And yes, it can help a little bit for SEO, but Google has said publicly that that's not a big uh, factor in rankings anymore. So don't worry about having to have the perfect words in your domain name in terms of SEO, because you can rank any domain name um, for any keywords. It's more about the content and the quality of the content on your site when it comes to rankings. So at this stage, you just wanna go ahead and find a name that's easy to remember, that you can tell the people in a conversation and that ends with a .com if possible, and if not, get a .net. And make sure again that you're paying as little as possible. So it should be $10, $11, no more than that to buy your domain name. So I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.